How's it going everyone? Today before we get out there and shoot the level 3A body armor with pistols plus rifle rounds, uh, I'd like to do something for kicks and shoot the old CrossFit weight plates, which is not body armor. And if you haven't seen my previous video of the CrossFit weight plates, pistol and rifle rounds, you should go check that out. Not now, of course, after this video. But I would like to test the Ruger 5.7 with it. The Ruger 5.7, the level 3A body armor in our last video, part one, it stopped it. So I wonder if the CrossFit weight plate will stop it as well. So we're going to start off with that. Let's get going. All right. So we're out here now. First test will be that CrossFit weight plate from the previous videos. As it states, this is not for use as body armor. This is not body armor. But well, we're going to be testing the Ruger 5.7. So, let's put it in Miss Bates. Let's go. Alright guys, test one. The CrossFit weight plate Ruger 5.7. Yeah, you have to be left-handed to do a John Wick press check. Well, <laughs> okay, well, you didn't hear this from me. This is not body armor, but it stopped a Ruger 5.7 blue tip. So did the level 3A body armor. As you saw, these were my only two front spots. I had everything else covered. That's where it hit, bam, nothing. Tiny bulge. Not sure if you can see the bulge, but very tiny. It's not body armor. Stop the Ruger 5.7 though. It stopped that thing, eh? All right, well, as you saw the CrossFit weight plate, 5.7 stopped it. So, uh, you can be the judge on that, whether it's body armor or not. But it's not body armor. This is body armor. This is level 3A body armor, soft armor. What we're going to be doing is shooting 300 blackout subsonic. And we're going to go 50 caliber muzzle loader ball. Nothing happens there. We're going to try just a normal 223, just range ammo. And we got a fresh plate here. I didn't want to do this. Anything for the viewers, guys. I was going to wear my old plate that we shot all those pistol rounds through. Now, nothing went through. Nothing fully penetrated. I know people would say, oh, it's not a true test, it's chewed up. Okay, we got, a, got you a fresh plate here, so let's get to this. All right, next test is the real armor plate, fresh plate, level 3A, body armor, 300 blackout, subsonic. Oh, 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 oh. oh well, let's uh, let's go check her out. Sorry, Miss Bates. Get you there. No exit. Get 
cut it. I'm not sure if that, I'm not sure if it uh, went through. Hmm. It's under investigation. All right, guys. Well, wanted to cut it and take a further look at this. Had a ballistics doctor look, and we can actually feel it up here. So that's just a little tear. 300 blackout subsonic is still in here. So still, nothing has gone through. She took a hard hit. It knocked her down. Sorry. But uh, she's still alive. So let's try, let's try to... Uh, I guess we'll try to see what else we can pitch through it. Oh, and that was a pistol round, by the way. I shot a pistol, so technically that was a pistol round. It stopped it. Alright. Second test. I'm gonna go muzzle loader, 50 cal ball. Let's put it a little further away. So here we go. She did. <coughs> Black powder. Let's go. <coughs> oh, man. I don't think it stopped it. What? Uh, there's our 300 blackout. Muzzle loader, 50 cal ball. All right, guys, I'm not quite sure if it went through or it stopped it. See, we got the entry here. This is Tor. That's tape. We don't have anything right here. Let's see if we can find it. Okay, let's go through first front layer. Layer hole. Layer hole. Layer hole. Oh, I see it. Oh snap. There she is. Alright, well, tangled in there. Here's your 50 cal ball right here. So, stops a 50 cal muzzle loader ball. So, if you're in muzzle loading season, put one of these on. All right, let's see if we can get something to go through it. All right, well, sorry guys, but I'm gonna have to resort to shooting my old plate, the one that was in part one with all the pistol rounds. Now, it stopped all the pistol rounds, so there's no, as you can see, there's no exit here. I taped up the spots where where it shot to the front, but I can't use the one we were just using because the uh, muzzle loader 50 cal ball just destroyed it. It stopped it, but it sits in pieces and it wouldn't be a good test. So we got to get something through this thing. So what we're going to do is start off with just normal 223, just range 223 ammo out of an AR-15 and let's see, it should pop through. All right, guys, 223. See if it works. On safe, let's go. Didn't buckle. Let's see. Hole. Oh. Two, two, three went through. Okay, so I guess it is what it states it is. Level 3A body armor. It does stop a 50 caliber muzzle loader ball. A lot of pressure, a lot of power, but it still stops it. A little 223 punches right through. A lot of velocity. It's moving quick. 
And I guess that's the test. I guess that's it. See ya. All right. Well, I'm sorry, Miss Bates. Went right through. Let's see if there's an exit one here. We can see. Oh, yep. Look at this. Pierced right through the chair. Right through the back of her spine. Ouch. I'm sorry, Miss Bates. Hopefully you won't send me to the backwoods again, okay? Uh, I'm sorry, but just please don't do that. We're gone. All right, guys. Where's the end result? 300 blackout subsonic. The muzzle loader, 50 cal ball. All stopped in this plate. Of course, the 223 punched right through the other. Couldn't find that round. That's it.